I started in about 1989. Uh, I was working for HVAC contractor and we won a trip to the Bahamas and one of the things to do was to go scuba diving. So I tried it out and I've been hooked ever since. The people that take the LA County course are in, they, they want the challenge, they want to learn new and better things and uh, they're, they're willing to sacrifice themselves for, through uh, ADP program, which is 10 weeks. Uh, they say, uh, I want to do this, I want to learn as much as I can and get the most out of it. Uh, it's not for everybody, it's for the people that want to go through it. And once they're in it, that they find out that they, they, when it comes to the end of the program, they don't want to leave it. They want to keep it going. <laughs> so we do dives on the weekends after the program. And, uh, after UICC also so keeps everybody together diving it, it takes everybody in the UIA to, to run the ADP and the UICC programs uh, like we've always said we're a big family we're a big team and we work together as a team and everybody's got strong points and weak points and, and we just work together and uh, get the job done my um, supervisor with the LA City pool system said that we ought to teach skin and or scuba diving. The LA County was offering this program. Would I like to go through it? And I said, sure. I was a great water person, as good as any of the guys in the water, it seemed like, because I'd had the lifeguarding background. But it was a little hump to get the physics and physiology, but I did learn it. It's just like math, you finally get it one day. Westinghouse hired me as a technician working for a marine biologist. I was in the water two to three days a week, in the office the rest of the time, typing up technical papers. There was a gal, June Davis, who was hired by Westinghouse to demonstrate closed circuit rebreathers at a show in Long Beach, the OECON show. And my boss went up there and he says, you know what? He says, you work for us and you can do the same thing. Get a bikini and come on up. So June and I demonstrated together and we found out we were both UICC graduates. She was also an LA County instructor. I took a six month leave of absence from Bechtel and backpacked throughout the South Pacific. Had mask fin snorkel and an underwater camera and then would rent scuba gear wherever I was. It was an awesome trip. I love to dive. When we used to teach at Catalina, we would do the introduction with the class, the scuba dive, the final test, and then the second dive of the day was a recreational dive. I would go into shallow water and turn rocks over and look for critters for my aquarium, more than going and diving deep and being a hero and all that kind of stuff. So that's my pleasure.
when I was four years old, I had polio, and it kind of screwed me up uh, physically. And when I got to school, uh, their team sports and that type of thing, I was no good at. I would always let them down. And uh, so one day when I was 15, a guy said, hey, uh, let's go down and go snorkeling. And I said, hell, I don't have any gear. He said, well, I'll loan you a mask and fins. So we went down to the jetty, and I had a ball. And one of the reasons I had a ball is because I, nobody depended upon me, and I couldn't let anybody else down. So I kept diving more and more and more, and he finally got out, and I, I continued. When I bought my cylinder, I went to LA County Fair. There was a tank and a regulator. I think it was uh, 150 bucks or something like that. I bought it. Uh, I had to borrow money from my dad to get it. I had a dive shop for 35 years on, in Newport Beach. I had two partners, so we sat down one night, the three of us. We gotta get an instructor, so you take it. So I'd heard of Clint, I called him up, and I explained my situation, and he says, yeah, I guess there are probably a lot of old timers out there. And so he came up with a program called a Mossback Checkout, and that's how I did it. I went through 13 UICC. I would work all week, and then on Friday night, I'd sit up all night getting ready for Saturday's instructor course. Spear fishing and uh, taking trips and all that type of thing was part of my job and obligation, but it was also part of my vocation. So there weren't many people, or there aren't many people around that can have a vocation and a vocation the same. I was really lucky. It also helped me to get that Reaching Out Award from DEMA that I got. I, I was really humbled by it because I was just a farm boy from Orange County. I was a YMCA instructor in Chicago. So I came out to uh, Southern California. I was a graduate student at UCLA in physical education. And Glenn talked me into taking the LA County Instructors course. How being an LA County instructor changed my life, it basically got me the job at Cal State Fullerton. Other people were much more experienced than I in coaching, but they didn't have that scuba certification. That's kind of what put me over the top and essentially got me my, my career at Cal State Fullerton. I was uh, doing the, um, the book on diving pioneers that I went back to a lot of the LA County contacts and uh, a lot of the people that I interviewed for diving pioneers were pioneers mainly through LA County.